So many books, so little time. The first part of this year, our class is going to be focusing on fiction novels in our language arts class. Reading is a great way to spend our free time. Books can take us to places that we may never have the chance to see in real life. In just moments, we can be transported to the Great West during the time of cowboys and prairie dogs, to an alien ship just off the coast of Pluto, or to medieval times during the time of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Reading is not only good for our imagination, but when we practice reading, we increase our fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. These are all important skills we need to have in our everyday life. My challenge to you is to read as much as you can. With that being said, I want to welcome you to Miss McFall's Reading Challenge. How many books can you read this school year? The challenge is to read at least 14 books, as well as hand in a short book report about your chosen novels. Each student who meets or exceeds the challenge will win the ultimate grand prize at the end of the school year. What is the prize, you ask? I guess you'll have to read to find out. To help you get started, here are just a few of my favorite books. The Coast Watcher by Eloise Weston. It is 1943, and Hugh and his family escape a polio epidemic by leaving Charleston for the South Carolina seashore for the summer. While there, the 11-year-old considers it his duty to watch for any signs of enemy activity. He becomes suspicious after seeing what he believes to be a periscope off the coast, finding German cigarettes, and stumbling across a unreadable map. When no one believes him, he goes out on his own to discover if the town has been secretly infiltrated. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White An affectionate, sometimes bashful pig named Wilbur befriends a spider named Charlotte, who lives in the rafters above his pen. A prancing, playful bloke, Wilbur is devastated when he learns of the destiny that befalls all those of porcupine persuasion. Determined to save her friend, Charlotte spins a web that reads some pig, convincing the farmer and surrounding community that Wilbur is no ordinary animal and should be saved. In this story of friendship, hardship, and the passing on into time, we are reminded to open our eyes to the wonder and miracles often found in the simplest things. The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate Ivan is an easy-going gorilla. Living at the Exit 8, Big Top Mall, and Video Arcade, he has grown accustomed to humans watching him through the glass walls of his domain. He rarely misses his life in the jungle. In fact, he hardly ever thinks about it at all. Instead, Ivan thinks about TV shows he's seen and about his friend Stella, an elderly elephant, and Bob, a stray dog. But mostly, Ivan thinks about art and how to capture the taste of a mango or the sound of leaves with color and a well-placed line. Then he meets Ruby, a baby elephant taken from her family, and she makes Ivan see their home and his own art through new eyes. When Ruby arrives, Change comes with her, and it's up to Ivan to make it a change for the better. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl The gates of Willy Wonka's famous chocolate factory are opening at last, and only five children are allowed inside. The only way they are allowed in is if they have the golden wrapper from a Wonka chocolate bar. Charlie Bucket comes from a poor family made up of his mom and two sets of grandparents. When his birthday comes around, he just gets a homemade scarf and a candy bar. But candy seems to be the latest craze all over the world, because it seems that five golden wrappers were hidden in the candy bar. Whoever discovers the wrappers would win a lifetime of chocolate as well as the ultimate prize, a visit to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. After a fortunate buy, Charlie discovers the last of the golden tickets. Able to bring only one person, he brings his grandfather, who is the closest to him. The two embark on an adventure, hoping for the chance to become the most famous people in the world. So let's get started and have some fun. Let's see all the places you can go and things you can learn. Happy reading!